Silhouette Goose decoys for under ten dollars a dozen. This is the campaign season. This is the year that everybody wants to put out yard signs. And 50% of the people that run for office this year are not going to get reelected. They're going to put their signs in their garage and in a couple of months they're going to be in the way and they're going to beg you to take them. This gal here was kind enough to, to give me a few uh, yard signs. They're like iron. She was uh, re-elected for three years. These have been in people's yards a month at a time for three years, and these wear like iron. So, and this one here is roughly two foot by two foot. There's also some four foot by four foot uh, stuff out there, but it is just as hard as you can get, just as tough as you can get. So, you can pick those up for nothing. This is the year that we're going to have Bernie and Biden, and there's going to be a ton of yard signs left over at the end of the year. In fact, one of them in June, one of them's going to be done, so that's the time to start. We're going to use this pattern today. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. You can get them online, uh, and we're just going to we're just going to lay it out here to where it needs to be. We're going to take a, we need a sharpie and an exacto knife, and we're just going to trace around everything. The table I'm cutting on here is uh, about 25 years old, and man, it's seen its better days. But I keep it around just for stuff like this. Uh, I don't worry about cutting on it, tearing stuff up. It's just uh, it's just an old table that I use. So when you start working on this stuff, uh, make sure you you don't. Uh, you don't cut up good stuff or ruin good stuff. Uh, you probably wonder where we get our patterns. Uh, Big Al's offers a $10 decoy package. Uh, I don't know if you get one or two, but uh, that's a good way to get your silhouettes. We also have done quite a few yard sales. And every time we see a silhouette or a shell decoy, we buy it. That's how we keep increasing our spreads. Uh, we don't mind painting them. It's uh, pretty darn easy to paint them and fix them up so we just keep going that way I need to clarify one thing that uh, Ray Dean uh, didn't run for three years in a row she ran for three terms so these signs have been used quite a bit uh, we want to thank her for the signs uh, she's a good friend her and her husband were, were our neighbors for 25 years and uh, we just appreciate her uh, giving us these signs so that uh, so that we can make up uh, uh, our decoys, so that we can just uh, increase our spread. She doesn't know how uh, important this is to us. Make sure you uh, watch with a razor knife that you don't cut yourself. Some of these turns that you have to make with this are a little bit uh, uh, tight so it's pretty darn easy to slip and cut yourself if you're cutting cardboard with one of these knives it's uh it's like cutting uh with a hot knife through butter but uh with this plastic it's pretty rigid and uh it's a lot harder to uh, to cut out but this uh this material is so darn good that it uh it'll just uh last us these decoys will last us another 20 years our, our grandkids and great grandkids will probably be using these darn decoys in the end and there we are another goose decoy We have a 
goose decoy ready to paint. Once again, this is election year. There should be tons of yard signs that are left over at the end of the year that you can get your hands on. You know, like I said, half the people are going to lose. They're going to want to get rid of their signs. They're never going to run to that office again. People that subscribe to our channel. We're looking for a thousand subscribers. Click on like. Click, the, click that like button, that subscribe button, and that share button and share with some of your friends. Here's what our decoys look like in the backyard uh, with the wire stuck into the ground. They look pretty good. Um, I don't use the cheap spray paint. I use uh, Rust-Oleum. I give these things about, uh, oh, I give them two good coats, if not three. I don't want it to come off. I used to use the 99 cent stuff, and it seemed like I was painting them about every year. So I go with a little bit better, uh, a little bit better paint. Seems to hold up a lot better uh, when you're sliding them in and out of your bags and and uh, everything. You want to make sure that uh, that little strip down the top when you cut these out is white. So you want to make sure you get that covered when you're doing it. it just give it one coat, let it dry, and then then give it another coat, and it'll just uh, it'll just turn out pretty darn good. See how good they're starting to look. Got all that uh, red and white covered up, and they're starting to look like a real goose decoy now. Make sure you get the wires painted. Uh, we don't want those shining when we're out in the field. And I may have to shorten these up a little bit more on the stands because they're sitting awful high. Uh, I've got them shoved into the ground about where I want them, so I might cut another oh, two inches off the off the wire just to make sure that uh, they sit close enough to the ground that they look natural. And you notice I'm uh, I'm touching that ridge up again, making sure that that white's all covered. And I just give them two two good coats with rust oleum, and one can will uh, do six decoys with two coats. And uh, that's what we're looking for. Looking darn good right now. There's two ways to paint the white on the decoys. I like to freehand some of it, and a lot of people just do a cutout and uh, lay it on top of it and paint. But what I use for paint is I go to Hobby Lobby, buy their flat white. Some people prefer to use a template, uh, like I'm uh, putting on right now, so that they can uh, they know have a good idea of where they're where they're going to paint their. Uh, they're white. Uh, when I paint these decoys, I use flat black and flat white. So, uh, and I prefer a brush on the white stuff. I just uh, always have, and probably always will. Uh, it seems to cover better. It takes a little longer to dry, but it seems to cover a lot better. And uh, with this pattern here, we uh, just lay it over the top. You get the same. Uh, you get the same every time, uh, which isn't a bad thing if that's what you want to do it. If that's the way you want to do it. But uh, as you can see, uh, I probably need to put two coats on these because the black just kind of sticks through a little bit. But uh, just let them dry now, and uh, then we'll uh, just uh, do the other side after it dries. As you can see, when he when I pull off the uh, cover here, the looks pretty darn good. I also like to freehand. Uh, this other one I'm going to do a freehand for you because uh, I lay a pattern out there so I can kind of look at it, and then I just uh, I just start painting. I don't think uh, I think as long as we have white on the the head and the sides along with the black that. Uh, it's not going to affect the birds any. They're not going to be able to tell whether you did it by hand or by uh, having a pattern as to do it by. So, as you can see, we're uh, we're getting the free hand done here, and I'm thinking about where it's going to go. And there we go. And as you can see, both of these decoys. Uh, 
We've done the one side. We'll get the other side done as soon as they dry. But uh, they're looking pretty darn good at this point in time. So our final product. From the yard sign to the silhouette decoy. Simple as can be. If you want to make silhouette decoys on your own for less than ten dollars a dozen, then this is the way to go. Two cans of spray paint was eight dollars. Uh, I already had the Exacto knife. This little deal of paint, uh, paint here that uh, I used from Hobby Lobby, a uh, dollar. So the 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 yard signs were free. I prefer you use Biden or Bernie uh, instead of Trump signs. But there's a lot of candidates that don't get elected that just want to get rid of their signs. They'll probably give them to you for nothing. That's what happened to me. And I'm going to collect another 50 or 60, and that's what I'm going to do this year.